Good day. Welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 at Franklin's Garage. This one I just picked up from the auction. It is a, a Hellcat wide body SRT. It looks like a pile right now, but when I'm done with it, it'll look pretty good. However, this is not going to be the one we're working on today. The one we are doing today is this one. This one is the Arezzo Cortona, which I believe it is the representation of the Ferrari F40. Now, let's bring it to the car wash and wash this bad mama jamba. Do the interior first. They're all spiffy. Now we do the body. Now I took the liberty earlier of buying the parts that are going to be needed for the build, so. Alright, let's see. What are we doing here? Let's start by ripping off all the old parts, or taking off all the old parts, I shall say. Probably a lot of parts that could be fixed, but... Eh, what's the point? Just buy new, get it done, get it over with, you know what I mean? Alright, let's put this bad boy up on the lift. Once my controller started working and acting correctly. Alright. First things first. Make sure I have my engine parts. Yes, I do. So let's go to the paint shop and start painting them. Here's a paint suspension components too while I'm in here. Let's get rid of all the old parts. All the old ones that I've taken off so far. Perfect. Alright, we'll start with this. Bottom suspension arm A. We're going to do it these. We're going to do it this goldy color. B we do a whole video just painting parts. Uh, the calipers we're gonna wait on those. Yeah, maybe we'll do them red. This car's gonna be red and gold. Wish the goal would have turned out better, but it is what it is. One of my other cars that I've done, I can't remember if I did a video of it or it was the uh, Riveson, uh, the one that's supposed to be just like the Skyline. I went and did that one. Ooh, she looks sharp. Ooh, ooh, no, no, not A. I need the B's because it's airbox type A. So. That one requires all right what we're going to do now is we're just going to cycle through and ooh, that's nice nice color red which worries me because i don't think it's going to i think it's going to be too bright on the body itself but who knows <laughs> and i forgive me if i sound a little bit uh different um, since we got the new pooch it's been a few months since I've actually had a dog in the house again so what that means is ah yes can't paint these is now my system's got to get used to having dog hairs up the nose and you know on the lips and stuff like that so eh it doesn't look too too bad huh Doesn't look too bad, I guess. What? The Type A airbox, didn't I? Huh. But this one also requires the fuel tank 
B and C. We may just get the motor done on this video and have to do the rest of the car on the next one. I'd always match the fuse boxes and the air boxes to what the color of the car is. Uh, in my opinion, it looks sharper that way, but people can choose and have their own opinions. This is a very, very time consuming process, especially when you have all the parts that I have. Like I'm basically painting the entire, all the parts for it right now, engine and suspension, so bear with me here folks. Mm. Oh, I think we're going to do these red. Since there is no cross member in the rear of the car, it's going to be more or less all gold in the rear. So. Do the springs red, kind of give it a little bit of contrast and help break it up a little bit. All right, they're all done now. Almost look like eyeball springs. Ah, I hope my mic was turned on. Feel kind of silly if it wasn't. Alright, we're going to do this. Well, I guess it doesn't look too, too bad as a color. Alright, let's see if we did that. Uh, block is red. I believe that chrome. These we can do red. Oh. Take is gold, and I don't think I can change the color on that. Oh, what do you know? Yes, I can. But that's not what we're going to be doing right now. And so, working with the gold color. should have painted this gold since that was the color I was choosing <coughs> thankfully once I get going on it doesn't take long because I have all the parts so I don't really have to search for anything yeah, that's got a nice shine to her cool I don't start putting wrong pieces on the car, we're good to go. Which, as you can tell in previous videos, that I'm very good at doing that. What about this? You don't need a distributor for it, that's for sure. See, I forgot to buy something. I wasn't paying attention earlier. I bought the oil filter V8 instead of the one that's actually supposed to be on the car. So, it is what it is. There we go. Ah, that looks better. Yeah. You know what, we're going to save that and do that at the same time we're doing the shocks. This is what I've been saying.
Okay, well I guess I can't paint the one piece. So I'll do this. This isn't going to turn out right. But on the other hand, we can make it look real good. These, this color, ooh, that actually looks pretty good on there. And I can do this, repaint this back to red, because that's the piece that attaches between the two upper uh, timing covers. So. bolts on where the bolt hole is up on the uh, by the circular part so as of this car there's not really a whole lot of parts that you gotta really worry about it does it does become time consuming but ooh uh, I think everything else left now is gold I think I could be wrong but yeah. All right. Cool. And then we got the black shocks. What oh, my air box is in here? Hmm. Eh, those, yeah, I see, I didn't buy it. Eh. It'll look alright with the gold. I found that parts will look one way paint in the paint booth, then you put it on the car. And it's either brighter or darker. It's hard to say. Uh, I'm pretty sure I basically have everything. Minus two upper arms in the water pump. And then the shocks I gotta do. One, two, three. Cool. Last arm. And same scenario for everything else. I'm going to do the engine first, get that built and out of the way, and then I can start ripping the car apart and put all the other parts on it. V12 dual overhead cam ARZ. Once we got the crankshaft all bolted in, then what I'm planning on doing is in putting the pistons in. Oh, we zoom in, zoom out, zoom in. Oh, I forgot to paint some parts, didn't I? Mm -hmm. eh. Maybe I don't really need to do the oil filter, but it'll just help complete the package. And I always try to do, start off with the rod caps up front, and I work my way back. That way then, 
when I had the last one installed, I put the oil oil pan on, and then I can do the flywheel, the clutch, pressure plate, the disc, and then I turn the motor and I work on everything else. Now the reason why I left the power steering pump chrome is because the alternator is also chrome too, so I had a little match. I believe they're one on each side, yep. <coughs> Alright, last cap, then we put the pan on. And we work on the clutch assembly. Oh yeah, looks more yellow than gold, but it is what it is. So I mean it's a completely different color out here than it was inside the paint booth. And you figure with how bright the paint booth is, it should have gave me the actual color to it, but <laughs> we all know how that works. Alright, now we flip it. Uh, we're going to start on this side. Put the big heads on. And for the camshaft caps, you need 20 of them, 5 per cap five per cam I say and you only need 12 spark plugs for this one unlike the V12 158 for the Pagani Hira and Tempesta you need 24 spark plugs for that bad boy and the power hose and we'll put the manifolds on A and B A goes to the back B to the front Put the extremely big camshafts in, and then the million cam caps. Wow! Come on, there we go. Trying to be a little stubborn here by looks of it. I would like to thank all the people who have been viewing my videos. Very helpful, very appreciative. I really appreciate it. I'm going to put the cam gears on. Uh, duh. Then we put the valve cover on. And six coils. Seems like you guys like my uh, video of the track pack M3. So I figured, eh, why not do another fully colored car? Why not? I don't do too many of them on here because it just takes so long to do the coloring, and I'm only limited to an hour per video. So. We shall see. And as soon as that valve cover goes on on this side, all of a sudden they're like, hey, install the intake. So then it becomes a fight to put the, uh, a little bit of a struggle to put the coils in because you got to fight with the intake. And with me doing the intake red, I forgot, I'm not able to do change the color on the valve cover, so maybe a little too much red for the top side of this motor, it's hard to say. But on the next video, we're probably going to do the uh, wide body SRT. I mean... But, before I install the intake, I like to put these in. Over then I can see if I miss any. Because I've done that before. Rushing along and forget one coil and sit there forever trying to figure out why the car won't start.
Did I really just do this gold and that gold? Crap. Yeah, you can... Oh dear. No, can't do it. I can't bring myself to do that. Looks like here's my opportunity to go paint the rest of the parts. <sighs> because the throttle bodies are also gold so that's going to be way too much gold for the top side of that motor because this isn't even painted there we got that done and now I can do the shocks the reason why I paint the shocks black even though they're already black because it gives it just a bit of shine to it this makes them look so much better personal preference. People can do whatever they want. But that's just something that I do. Huh? Oh yeah, I was testing out colors earlier, that's why. Uh, well, since it's here, I may as well do it. There we go. I believe that's it. Probably missing something again, but yeah. Push, not pull. Hey, what do you know? Almost matched the color perfectly to the valve covers. I mean, if I would have left the intake gold, it would have been just eh. I put the fill filter on before I forget. Put the exhaust on manifolds on on this side A and B. Nice chrome manifolds. Put the oil filter on. Power steering pump. Cam gear one. Cam gear two. The shoe. And put the belt on, then the, I gotta put these on, eh, but the gold timing covers doesn't look too bad I guess. Yeah, it's completely almost different color red. Next time I do gold on a car, I'm going to have to rework it. Because that just don't look right. I'm going to put this on, the thermostat. You see what I mean though with the timing chain cover? On how I got gold here, gold here. And I put the center one red. This gives it a little extra pizzazz. <coughs> put the belt on. I knew I was forgetting something else. That's okay because it's right here. And we'll just put this on to match the thermostat. Now, last I think we're basically done this. Yes, we are. Okay. Did I do the timing? Yeah, I remember that. Okay. Wow, I feel like I'm drunk here. I did paint the rear spring, so. Luckily, things don't take as long to do in this one as they did in 2018. However, there's a few of them that are bolts could be a little bit faster. Yeah, 
I'm using the uh, Fragoni Tempesta wheels for it. I'm putting 18s on it. With the 335s on the rear. 35. Lost one here. Now we can start working on the beast. Perfection. Oh, you're over here. Cool. No oil pan. Don't let it drain the oil. <coughs> and see? Drive axle B, it's for the rear engine cars. And rear wheel hub B is also for the rear engine cars. Gets to be a little confusing after a while, but also too after a while it becomes a little easier. So. Block looks to be in not bad shape. I actually got this car pretty cheap at the auction. Considering what the value of it when you're done. Take it easy there, Skip. one but I'll show it on the next video. the one that's already loose. I did fire up my 91 today, my 1991 C1500, it's been a few months since actually I ran it, battery was dead, I had to throw it on charge, should have did a video of it, but I thought about it after the fact, and yeah, I actually ran pretty good today, considering it's been quite cold the temperatures actually. Well, not really. It's been pretty mild this year. Is it mild where you guys are where you guys are living? I know it's been mild up here in northern Ontario. A little warmer than usual. Now, there's a reason for that. 
this group of people will say this, this group of people will say that, but there is a bottom line to it that I'm not going to get into tonight. Maybe I'll make a video of that if I can uh, figure out. Well, actually, I can, actually. Alright, I think it's time now we pull the motor, or we got to still pull the transmission. Aha, I got to be the tranny. Alright, now this goes down. And while that's going down, bring this over there. Alright, perfect. Pull the motor. Nice, beautiful. Ooh, I still gotta bring that over. Ouch. Thought I already did this earlier. Hi, caramba. Ooh, three grand. Ouch. Oop, didn't put the motor over a while. Yes, this Mustang. Might do a video of doing the motor and, uh, suspension on it. This is not a typical Ford color. Uh, this is actually the Mayan M8 color in this. Uh, I did buy one of them. It's sitting in my my um, warehouse we can say. Alright. Not putting the battery in yet. Okay, which one is it? It should be I bought that too. No, that's right. I decided to wait until I was actually putting it together because I didn't quite know what one it was. I believe it would be this one. Would make the most sense for having a V12. Alright. Nailed it. Perfect. consuming yeah as I say I recommend that if you ever if anybody's ever doing these cars do not do the fuse box or the, um, yeah the fuse box do not do it uh, white because it is a pain to see where the fuses sit time-consuming process aha see missing one there all right now I'll put the battery in and up here put the windshield washer fluid in and we'll run back over here put the ECU in performance upgrade of course and come over here Put this in. Eh, doesn't look too too bad, I guess. Performance air filters. I don't understand why it's like I'll like I have a car where. It has blue on it, and the same blue works out to three different colors on the car. It's weird. Oh my god, this needs to quickly spin. I'll clear out the settings, I guess. Make it a little bit faster. Alright, I think that's it. Awesome. Now I'll put this motor in it. I already have it. See? Completely bare. Oh yeah, it's already worth 180 grand. I only spent 47,000 on it. Get all the fluids in right now. So we don't got to worry about it later on. type of cars with the engine in the rear I tend to normally put the 
transmission in before I put anything else in because well kind of really can't put the tires or nothing on until you get the transmission in so I think you gotta put the axles in before you put the wheels on and the wheels or the axles go to the transmission so this makes common sense now we're gonna do brake fluid windshield washer fluid and then we can start installing suspension windshield washer fluid and we're done already got the wheels, already got the shocks we're all assembled, ready to rock and roll. Perfection. And when we're done with all this, we'll bring it over to the paint shop and and maybe we'll put the exhaust on first. What the? I bought this today. Huh. I guess I know what happened to that thought. No, that don't look great. But I don't got the time to run to the paint shop, so. Nice big chrome muffler. And for a fancy car, I have the carbon brake rotors to go all the way around. At least I should, anyway. for this thing. The starter on since we're over here. Oh, where is that? Where's that spin? We'll get over here. That would have been a screw up. This time we're using ribbon 40. Alright, now we put the other fuel tank in. And this is the side that takes the fuel pump. And we'll put the steering rack in first, let it just hang. Sway bar. Cross member H, which is also the same one in the, the Bizzarino. tie rods in I'll run over to this side now I'll do the inner tie rod and put the steering knuckle on what does everyone call those oh yeah make that same mistake on my truck, my 91, 
when you go to look it up, it's a spindle. Got my 2013, it's a steering muscle. I don't get it. Stay the same, stay the same. I didn't paint any of these, so. <clears throat> See, when you have the parts on hand and ready to rock and roll, it doesn't really take all that long to put a car together. Alright, where's the other one? When you make screw ups like I do, that's what takes a long time. Forgetting parts, having to repaint stuff, having to do this, having to do that. It is what it is. Alright, last part for the suspension. Oh no, it's not last part. I still gotta put the shock and the sway bar link in. and we do that we put this doohickey in along with this thing in my jigger suspension is done perfection all right now we're going to bring over to the paint shop. I believe I never bought no parts for it, I don't think. Yeah. So, that's okay. It's only in one store, so... No, it is not. Oh no, this is the GTO edition. Which is shocking. The reason why I say it's shocking is because the GTO edition will fetch in less money than the standard edition. I think somebody screwed that one up. But, still fun to do though. Like I said, cars are my life. Uh, yeah, okay. Like I said, cars are my life, my passion. I love them. I mean, the automobile is my absolute first love. My wife used to call my 91 the other, the other one, like my mistress or my girlfriend, because I would spend so much time on that. And it was an inside joke between us that she goes, "Ah, he's probably out there cheating on me with this truck again." Awesome, look at that, perfect. Yeah, let's put a little bit of a deco on this one. Where are you? Right there, perfect. Actually, no, we're going to go with this one. Red and gold, red and yellow, right? Oops. 506, wow, that's a good chunk of coin. Interior now, okay. Let's do the interior. Interior. <coughs> Having spoken problems. Yeah, let's do the red leather seats. Do something a little bit different, right? Grab my full $100 steering wheel. Take out this cheapy $150. Dang, this red matches almost everything. Awesome. Should be done now. Whoops. This one. Oh, it's at 94% because I don't have the license plates on it. Well, one plate anyway. Yeah, there should be enough time for me to do a dyno run. Let's make a pole. It's supposed to be 520 horsepower, 361 foot pounds of torque from factory. Let's see what we can do. Off the 
stars. 1,047 and 702 foot-pounds of torque. That's nice. Awesome. Well, that, that is the end of this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. If you give me input and intel on what I could do better, what I'm doing wrong. Uh, be all input is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching the video, and have yourself a good day. Bye.